Stone is a dog's favorite treat, even children know about it. But why do dogs have such a predilection for bones? Dog breeders notice that even a well-fed dog that has had enough of meat will not give up the bone, it will still not play. That is, the addiction to bones has nothing to do with hunger. Bones contain a lot of calcium, but there are not many organic nutrients in them at all. Why do dogs need so much calcium, and where does the animal body use it? Many people are asking this question. In addition, dogs are not only predators, but also scavengers. Canines pick up the remains of other animals, can dine on what is left of the meal of a larger predator. Being next to a person, the dog is used to eating leftovers from his table. This is how it happened historically. Bones have become one of her usual trophies, and the body has learned to process them, digesting them completely, both boiled and raw. This is another reason for dogs' love for bones, they are also food, they can be put aside for a reserve, for a hungry day, or chew right away, for pleasure. The dog's body digests bones perfectly, taking all organic matter and nutrients from them, and directing calcium mainly into the wool. The dog's coat changes regularly, molting takes place several times a year, and excess calcium is dumped along with the old coat. Interesting fact, if a dog gets a lot of bones, his skin becomes hard, prickly to the touch and shiny. If there are few similar objects in the diet, the skin is formed more elastic. So, the dog is perfectly adapted for eating bones, it digests them perfectly. She tends to play with them and gnaw them on an instinctive level, because nature requires her to maintain the dental apparatus in good shape. But is it worth feeding the dog with bones? Is it possible to give them every day? Novice dog breeders often think about these questions. Giving bones every day, and even more so, forming a diet based on them is not worth it. Every dog breeder should know that a dog is primarily a predator, it needs meat, and with or without bones it will be provided is already a secondary issue. Veterinarians point out that bone abuse can lead to intestinal blockage. In addition, the pet dog gets mostly boiled bones, in which there is practically nothing useful left. Raw bones are more useful, but there is a nuance here. Veterinarians warn dog owners about the risk of feeding chicken bones, especially tubular ones. Their fragments can pierce the animal's insides. However, very few such cases have been observed, not all of them have been proven. Many dog breeders ignore this warning, simply boiling the same bones to a state where they soften, and providing them to the dog with porridge and other food. Large bones of animal origin also contribute to the grinding of teeth, the dental apparatus of a dog that constantly chews, experiences too much stress, teeth deteriorate quickly. On this basis, veterinarians also point to the need for moderate consumption of bones by animals. In the process of gnawing, the dog gets rid of the stone from the teeth, erodes them. To some extent, they are necessary in any case, although small and medium-sized breeds can be provided with cartilage, a dried vein. These products will clean the teeth and satisfy the dog's need for gnawing. Thus, canine bones are needed, it is a natural part of their habitual diet, a source of calcium for the formation of dense wool, a kind of simulator for the dental apparatus, a sharpener for teeth. But it is necessary to provide them to the animal in a reasonable amount, despite the fact that dogs almost always have a desire to gnaw. One beef bone per week, or for a few days, is a good option for medium and large dogs, which diversifies their diet. 